Okay, we're back down here at the messy workbench working on, uh, let me guess, um, oh yeah, arches, oh boy, uh, another update here on the Union Station project, alright, we're working on making all the arches, and here, I've got a few arches to show you, just to give you an idea how many arches I have been making, there's some more, there's some more, Here's some more, and here's some more. Oh, you know what? Hey, guess what? Here are some more arches. Oh, boy. And we got a few more arches. Okay. <laughs> These are all the arches I've been making. I think there are... Oh, how many sets? Uh, there's 13 sets of three. There are... Well, here's a five set. There are three sets of five arches. And... Finally, I've got four sets of four arches, and those will go on all the entryways. Uh, there will be uh, actually two sets of arches for each entry. Uh, the arches around the clock tower, and there will be arches at the ends of the concourses that go out over the tracks. So all of these have been put together. I'll show you a little jig that I was working with here that I made. These are just uh, 5 8 inch washers. And each of these were made in the jig. So I put these arches together. It snaps right back in the jig. I put each individual arch in here, glued them together, and then I had to do a little filling in here for some of the rough cuts that I made. Uh, so this helped me to make sure that at least this part of the arch, uh, all spacing and all that, was all uh, consistent. And then I made a small jig here to make sure that each arch was actually the same size. So after all the arches were glued together, I had this little jig that I made, and you can see how it kind of fits right in there. Made this little jig to uh, make sure that each piece was consistent. So every one of these arches sets fits very nicely right in there without any, any uh, give or slack there. This all took a lot of time because I had some, in some cases I had to add some little pieces to uh, the bottoms here and then I took a my little Dremel drill. I made a special size uh, cutoff wheel. I kind of uh, shaped it down a little bit and I used a cutoff wheel to kind of work my way around some of the corners here and sort of clean up inside the arches. So that process is pretty much done for all the arches and underneath all this I've kind of covered up my mess I am making these little little end arches that will go over the uh, the entryways and those will fit right that's why I call them end arches because they're going to fit right on the ends of each arch uh, out over the uh, the main entries just to kind of finish them off here like that and I've changed my process for making these little arches. Uh, you can see here I've got some that I haven't quite cut down, but uh, originally when I did these I worked with just a, a large piece of styrene and just kind of glued bigger pieces uh, or more pieces of styrene on there and uh, then I ended up doing a lot of carving and cutting to kind of cut it back down to size. In this case, I don't know if you can see it if I get this to focus for me, but a little hard to see, but I used uh, two pieces of styrene, the strip styrene. I used a little piece that's uh, 0.02 by 0.02 and another one that's uh, 0.02 by 0.4 and put those together to kind of make the little concentric uh, arch pieces. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. It's very hard to get the camera to focus on that. So I did that on each side of this when I made the uh, little concentric arches. I don't know if you can see them in here, a little concentric arch right there and then right there. Those were made by drilling <clears throat> two different size holes into styrene and then cutting the styrene in half. Cut the styrene in half to snap it and get half an arch and I used two different sizes of poles like so. <laughs> cut them in half and then put them together. So. Then I've got to cut them all apart, stick them together. I made, used a quarter inch strip that make, keeps them all uniform in shape. 
and glued these little side pieces together here and then glued the the halves here the arches the half arches on top and then to finish it I've got my handy dandy little chopper here I get some stuff out of the way here as you can see then it was just a matter of cutting this down or make some space here there we go okay and then uh, just put this down of course I'm on the wrong side of the light here but you can get the idea put it down One cut on each side, one cut on the top, and it's still going to take a little sanding to get that down. It didn't quite cut it flush, but it's close enough and to get a little sanding to get this all sanded down, and then we'll put that little end arch right on the end here. So it's just a little uh, matching, a little sanding and so forth to get it to uh, match right there, but. Once all that's done, then we'll move on to putting the arches on the building itself. So that's your arch update here, my arch, my arch enemy, oh well. So we're all set to go here with arches. I'm almost done making all these little things. I've got 10 of these little, little end arches to make and I've pretty much got them all done. All I gotta do is chop them down to size and we'll be all set. So there's your arch update. Now we've reached uh, the end of the arches here. I've got all the arches made for the Union Station project. Uh, these will be over the entry, just like these. They've got the little end arch on them. So I'm saving these for down here at the end, one at each end. You can see I've got all the arches in place here and I've added the uh, just a little wing wall extensions around here and I'm going to wait until I have the roof uh, panels in place and so forth. I'm going to uh, put those columns uh, on um, later in the process here. This way I've got the uh, easy access still to the windows and the door frames. I'm going to be doing a lot more work on those. And you can see I've got all the, uh, all the entry uh, arch is done. All the arches are over each uh, set of doors here. Also have arches for the clock tower. All this is going to take a lot more work to uh, kind of blend all this together. You can see it's all pretty rough here. All the corners and so forth. All that's pretty rough. That'll all get filled in and smoothed out just like we did on the last one. And the clock tower goes in right there. Also I have a few last little arches to put on the uh, ends of each concourse. Concourse walls also have arches on them. So those will go right above each each, uh, each set of windows on the end of each concourse. This being the concourse wall at the end, we at the end of the concourse there. Got three concourses. So arches, arches, arches are finally uh, in place and should see a bit more progress uh, at a quicker pace here now that I've got all these arches on here. Another nice thing about the uh, new method of construction here is that I've got everything's in a nice flat surface so it's just a nice clean butt joint right up against the, uh, the smoother the flat surface there. I don't have all the built-up details yet and uh, that made it much easier to apply these uh, little wing walls I call them over the top of the entries there. So moving along, um, I tried as much as I could to get uh, get these uh, tried as much as I could to get these all the same height, but I'm finding out they're just a little bit off still. And I think because the walls are just a little bit springy here still, and once I get the roof on there, it might. Uh, might help to stabilize that a little bit more and make them all a little bit more even but for now I think they're because the roof is not on there and the walls are just a little springy and not quite holding their own here yet that's probably why I'm getting a little variation here I tried to measure uh, make sure that all the columns are going to be on here uh, nice and even and flush with the ground so it's going to take a little work yet to get those 
uh, lined up and even. So that's where we're at for the arches on the update here. Things are moving along pretty well. They should pick up a little more here now that I've got all 70 arches done. Each one a little arch there. I got 70 of them I think throughout the project.